this is the Deity D4 Duo microphone. Now, what's so cool about this tiny little microphone is that it has microphones on both sides. You're actually hearing the back microphone right now. And if I flip it around this way, now you're hearing the front microphone. Not only that, but it actually separates these different microphones out into left and right channels. So you can lower or raise the volume in one if you like, or you can use this little 3.5 millimeter input right here and input your own microphone in here as well. So if you wanna use a lavalier for your back microphone or something like that, you could put your own microphone on here as well. Hey guys, Ray Valencia here, back with another video. If you guys are new here around the channel, I work in television production full time here in Florida. I also freelance and do weddings on the weekends and I shoot on Sony cameras. So if that's something that you're into, make sure you're subscribed. So with this dual microphone, this is one of the things that really stood out to me. So you can have the front capsule on or you can have the back capsule on or you can overtake this back capsule by your own microphone input. So here you can see I have the Rode Wireless Go 2 receiver going into the deity mic and that is serving as my right channel and then i have this front microphone capsule here serving as my left channel and i can go back in and post production and separate those out and do whatever i need to do with those so you're essentially getting two microphone inputs into your one microphone jack on your camera so that is an awesome feature so I hear some people are having problems in the wind with this microphone, so we're gonna take it out on the beach and on a boat, and I've tested it out in those scenarios as well, and we'll go over that later in the video. Also, we're gonna jump into Adobe Premiere Pro, and I'm gonna show you how to duplicate your audio, because you know it comes in on the left and right channels, so we're gonna go over that later, so make sure you stick around through the whole video. All right, so really quick, let's see what comes in the box. You get the microphone itself, and the 3.5 millimeter cable, to connect it to your camera. Two of these little dead cat wind furs. One goes over the front mic capsule and one goes over the back mic capsule. And you have the little Rycote shock mount here, which is cold shoe compatible. It also has quarter 20 and you can remove that quarter 20 thread and it's actually a 3 8 hole in there as well. And also on this little Rycote shock mount, you can mount your cable in there. It has a little cable clamp for holding your cables so they're always locked in place on your microphone. After I filmed this video, I ordered another Deity D4 Duo for my second camera. And look at the difference here. This is the one that I originally got, and this is the second one that I got. This must be the original version because the windscreen is very small, very dainty. Like you see how you can see the Rycoat shock mount from the side here. And then look at the windscreen. It comes off very easy and there's this rubber, grommet inside and microphone windscreen in there and then on this newer version it's much more plush and it doesn't have that rubber grommet and it's just whoop, this is the back one compared to each other so it's just a huge difference and then i'll show you the front one here again the old version has this rubber grommet inside and it's a much smaller wind muff and the new one just has more fur and elastic in there and it's literally double the size of the old wind muffs. So there are two main reasons why you might wanna pick up a microphone like this. And the first one is pretty obvious. That's because of the small size, the small form factor you have with such a lightweight microphone. The actual capsule itself comes in around 1.4 ounces and the whole setup with the wind furs on it comes in around three ounces. So it's super lightweight especially when you compare it to some of the other popular microphones out there, like the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus, which is massive compared to this. So this microphone isn't really ideal for flying on a gimbal if you need a microphone on your camera on the gimbal. So that's why I picked up something like this. It's just so small and compact. There you go. So just take a look at the difference between the size comparison of this little Deity D4 Duo versus the size of this Rode Video Mic Pro Plus. It's just a huge difference. I'll add the wind fur on here real quick so you can see that as well because if you're gonna be filming outdoors, you're gonna need these on there and the front wind muff for the front microphone. So that's the difference between the size of the Deity D4 Duo versus the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus. So to light a shot like this, we have one overhead light coming through the silk here just to make it nice and soft overhead. 
Also one Kino bulb tube light. Give a little edge lighting there. The one eight foot Kino bulb tube here to light this paper from the bottom and then bounce all around. And the second main reason to get a microphone like this is because of its low cost. So microphones like this, like ever since Rode came out with their video micro, there's been a ton of microphone companies that come out with a microphone in between 50 to $100. So this one comes in at $89. You can even get it on sale on B&H sometimes for about 65, 70 bucks. So I say relatively low cost for this microphone because I also have some microphones that are a little bit more expensive like this Rode Video Mic Pro Plus, and this one comes in around $300. And I also have a Rode NTG5, and that one is $500. So whenever you're thinking about a little $89 price tag, it's not nearly as much. So that's why I say relatively low cost, but you can find cheaper microphones out there for like 30, 40, $50, but they're not nearly as feature rich or as good as this one. So the DD D4 Duo is great if you're somebody that likes to talk behind the microphone, but you don't have to use the back microphone capsule. You can actually input your own microphone. So I actually have this Rode Lavalier Go connected in as my back microphone right now. So you're actually hearing the lav microphone plugged into the Deity mic and then the front Deity mic capsule is on. So I have the option of this front mic capsule and I have my own lavalier on the back mic capsule right here. And if you think this back microphone is kind of gimmicky and something that you'd never use, of course, you can just keep it on the front microphone and your audio will come through stereo on the left and right channels. Alternatively, you can always plug in your own microphone and use that instead for the back mic. Instead of helping, I'm gonna film him do it. Look at him. That's up. All the K's. All five of them. All right, just got done shooting. It was a great turnout. You know, we had a nice shoot and everything, but let's go ahead and talk about some more of the details about this microphone. So people always talk about this Deity D4 Duo microphone, always having a lot of problems with the wind. So I'm here on the beach now, which is probably one of the windiest places you can be on. So you can see the amount of wind blowing on my little doggy Sadie here, like how much wind is hitting this microphone. So you guys can be the judge yourselves and let me know how much wind noise this microphone picks up. I guess this is the true test right here. I'm getting blown away. Look at Sadie here. It's literally double the size of the old wind muffs. So that is how this wind muff problem has been solved they made it way bigger and upgraded it so problem solved so if you're using both microphones your audio is going to come in on your left and right channel which means that when you play it back it'll either come through on your left speaker or mostly on your right speaker now that may be a good thing for you or that may be a bad thing for you but whenever you go into your editing program you can still see the audio waveform here on the timeline where the front microphone capsule is coming through all on the left channel which means it'll all come through on my left speaker so if you're listening to headphones and you only have the right headphone in you won't hear any of that audio because it's only in the left channel so that may be something that you have to edit in your program of choice and you may have to duplicate your left channel or right channel depending on what you need and you can raise or lower the volume of each one so you see here where I ask Joe a question I have both microphones enabled and my audio from the back microphone is coming through on the right channel and the front microphone is coming through on the left channel all right so you're using the D for duo and you have both microphones enabled the front microphone and the back microphone and now you need your audio let's say on your front microphone like I have Joe here coming all out of my left speaker let's say I need his voice to come out of both the left speaker and the right speaker or the right headphone whatever you may be using so in Adobe Premiere the easiest way to do this is to hold on alternate and select just the audio 
and you can hold alternate and drag this audio down to another track here and now we've duplicated that audio all right next you go into your effects panel here and type in fill this is going to be under the audio effects so you drop fill left with right on this channel and drop fill right with left on this one and now when we play it back frequency range explain a little bit about what that means about sounds so frequency ranges are and now you can see uh, his volume is coming in nice and stereo and even on both channels there okay so this is with the back microphone only enabled range explain a little bit about what that means about sounds and you see how it's really low. Now I'll enable the front microphone. Uh, 20,000 is a low frequency. And there you go. And you can alter the levels frequency. here. So females primarily are or lower it. Higher to mid high frequency. And same thing with the back microphone. I can range. explain a little bit about what that means about sounds. All right, so that's how you duplicate your audio in whatever your editing program is. You just either need to duplicate the left or the right channel and you can go that route. So there's several ways to do this, but this is just the easiest way that I know how. So I've taken the Deity D4 Duo vlogging. I've had it in many scenarios. I've had it on a boat, I've had it on the beach. I've taken it all kinds of places, had it on the gimbal. And the only way I can get the audio to distort or cut out is in extreme cases, like on a boat or something like that. If you have the microphone going straight into the wind, but how many microphones are gonna be able to withstand that kind of torment anyways? So this mic has been great for me. I think it sounds really good, especially for the price and the small size that it has. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think about it below also be sure to hit that like button if you gain any value from this video and subscribe for more filmmaking gear tips and tutorials just like this one shoot for the stars and i'll see you guys very soon in the next video